Okay, so I said uh, there is some important news. Something very uh, important happened. Uh, and, it, of course, all of the insiders know it. But if you're an outsider like me, you didn't know this. And that's why I'm glad you watched my videos and my video log, because you're going to hear something amazing, at least in my opinion. Uh, I seem to be one of the few people who feels that this is uh, epical, uh, a turning point, no question, in the history of life on Earth. Uh, this is a pretty emergency news, if ever there was, a pretty uh, uh, important announcement. Uh, and so far, none of the, um, uh, the Associated Press, no news outlet except a few B-logs have covered this. Um, but the news item is this, without prolonging this any further, um, basically that we can now say with absolute certainty that what I see uh, can be seen from behind the brain. What an eye sees can definitely be seen, be seen from behind the brain with no wires, nothing attached to the brain using fMRI, functional MRI, functional magnetic resonance imaging. Uh, this is now a fact that nobody can dispute. It's an absolute truth that without a doubt what we see can be seen from behind our head without, um, you know, uh, without any instruments attached to our head at all. And of any brain, any brain with eyes, the images that they see can now be seen from behind their head um, with functional magnetic resonance imaging. And this, is, um, and this was announced in the December, 2000, December 10, 2008 uh, issue of the science journal Neuron. Uh, and this is still, as far as I know, free and available to the public. You can actually examine this article. This is an article, um, and it's at uh, cell.com slash neuron. Um, and if you go to the 2008 December 10 edition, you can see that there is a paper published there. And it is um, towards the bottom. It's uh, by um, a person. You should remember these names, I think, because it's very important. It's uh, Miyawaki et al. I always say Miyawaki et al. is basically what I'm saying. They're Japanese uh, researchers, uh, you know, Japanese humans, and uh, they're people um, from a variety of uh, universities and um, institutes and, uh, and businesses or at least one business, um, that have collaborated and uh, have published this paper together. Um, Miyawaki, or Miyawaki, and that's uh, one way you can remember that is uh, like a walking robot or walkie-talkie. Uh, Miyawaki, you a walkie? Well, oh, why wouldn't you like to be a walkie, too? <laughs> you know, uh, Miyawaki et al. Uh, it's like Yang Dan. If you remember Yang Dan from Berkeley a few years, uh, maybe 10 years ago or something, uh, had shown that what a cat brain sees can be seen, but she had physical connections to the brain. This is completely without any connection whatsoever. And the beautiful thing is we can now say that, yes, there is eyes. Eyes can be seen. Yes, there is an eye. Uh, you know, there are eyes that we can see eyes, everybody. The code word has now become a public word, you know. And the interesting thing is people are like, maybe ho-hum or whatever, not a big deal. Um, but let me tell you, it is a big deal because next you can be sure that if they can see um, uh, what an eye sees, obviously they're going to be able to see images that a brain can produce on their own without external stimulus. And so basically that opens up the door. Then they can see dreams, which would be the next publication probably, or somewhere next. And then also they can hear what the brain hears. In other words, sounds entered into the brain potentially could be uh, heard through fMRI. So uh, that could be next. And then also uh, sounds generated by the brain might be able to be heard. In other words, that our thoughts might be able to be heard, finally uh, made public, you know, after potentially what could be 200 or more years. We really don't know for sure, uh, and it's only just speculation. Uh, so anyway, let me show you that this, uh, and it's an interesting uh, cover on the uh, journal. This journal is not something that, you, that many people probably can afford. It's like a few hundred dollars each, uh, each uh a specific copy would cost fifty dollars each. I mean, it's it's not inexpensive, but it's interesting. In this particular issue, they have a little like a tape 
going for the brain. And that's interesting, the way our kind of our brain is and the recording images, they fall into the past, and the farther in the past, the less chance there is of ever reaching that um, that uh, um, memory, that image or that sound. So let me find this uh, article. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is a visual vis, visual image reconstruction. So I'll just go to the full text and take a look at that. And uh, yeah, this is amazing. It's some wonderful news. Um, and they have a bunch of images. And let me just show you. I made some printouts of this. Uh, so um, first of all, here's the, the big image. You know, here is the amazing image that they spelled out the word neuron. They had a bunch of shapes too. And basically, how they do this is explained here. And look how similar this image is to the, to the images I was showing. The, you know, the light, the pattern goes in the eyes. And then on the back of the head, there is this image is decoded, and it's translated into the original pattern. So, um, so you know, here's what they did. They took the letters and different shapes, like the letters neuron. And then they could see, you know, that... Uh, this is the, all that they saw from behind the head, you know, so they could easily make out the letters using functional MRI, you know. So, uh, I mean, that's a, that's a stunning, uh, you know, achievement in particular that it's, that it's made public. And so, um, you know, here is this article, and, here are, and they even include a movie of this, uh, an MPEG. So, I mean, that's really nice to see a nice movie uh, here are these pictures. Uh, that's the picture I just showed you right here. Um, so you can click on this and download a copy. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's just absolutely amazing and the different shapes that they decoded from uh, seeing thought. I'm not exactly sure if, if if people have to. I haven't even really read this article. If they have to like drink some sort of barium sulfate or something, you know. I mean, I don't really know. Or if um, they, uh, uh, how is it, if it's done in the, uh, if, if photons in the radio are uh, heat, uh, you know, uh, in the um, infrared or uh, microwave, so-called microwave uh, interval of light. Uh, so that is, uh, so all of you people, and, you know, I think all of the people who've been calling us insane and crazy and, and having psychiatric disorders and all this other stuff, because we're saying, hey, it could be possible that people can see our thoughts. And, uh, you know, I think this is strong evidence that maybe those people are not, uh, you know, that definitely those people are not uh, wrong, that they have, uh, it's probably logical to say that, yeah, this is, if it's not happening already, it soon will be, you know. Um, so, I, you know, I, I hate to say I told you so to so many people, but... I told you so, and uh, I think it's looking more and more like it's undeniable. Uh, now, this is a legitimate journal, Neuron, uh, you know. Now, what I have to, I'm going to send a letter to various uh, news sources, to the Associated Press, to CBS, and uh, especially to Kevin and Bean, those best, <laughs> and uh, Lisa May, who... Uh, is uh, the top search result for my website. Um, and then also, you know, uh, well, Fox, you know, obviously I, that's like, you know, uh, going into the den of the of, of, again, murderous pit bull or something. You know, I think I'll just steer clear of that one, you know. Um, that's just bad news. You know, I think it's a summary on anything that Mur Murdoch uh, has, has got involved in. But, um you know, certainly MSNBC and, uh, you know, uh, who knows, just a few of them. I don't normally do stuff like that, but I feel like, you know, look, at least nobody can claim that they were not told that this uh, is a fact and they they ignored it. And there's, I don't think there's ever been clearer evidence that this is a cover-up because, come on, something this important, they are not going to report it can't be an accident. You know, uh, they're not that stupid. Um, you know, they know what it is. They know how important it is. Uh, so that's the news story. I guess I can wrap it up. But let me just tell you, I mean, let me read my notes. If you go to the BIM, and I found some other information, too. Um, another really stunning guy, uh, really one of the fathers of science fiction, um, Gernsback. Gernsbach is his name. Like, how many people have ever heard of Gernsbach? Well, 